Good evening and welcome to the special broadcast on CNBC TV 18. Here are the, head here are the headlines from the network Graminer Poll of Polls. The BJP is in poll position in Uttar Pradesh, but it could fall short of a simple majority as the Samajwadi Congress combined is not far behind. Mayawati could be heading towards a demoralizing defeat. Akhilesh Yadav drops a bombshell, tells BBC Radio that he is not averse to a tie-up with bitter rival Mayawati if necessary. The Aam Aadmi Party holds the edge in Punjab, but it's promising to be a cliffhanger as the Congress may not be far behind. The BJP and the Akali Dal could be heading for a crushing defeat. The BJP could storm back to power in Uttarakhand. The incumbent Congress Party government could be heading towards a defeat, but the margin is thin. BJP could also retain Goa. The party could be just a whisker away from a simple majority. The Aam Aadmi Party could open its account and put up a good show, denting the fortunes of the Congress. See, Voter Poll is projecting BJP to emerge as the single largest party in Manipur. The 15-year Congress rule could be coming to an end. Well, those are the exit poll results then. Uh, not as resounding a victory for the BJP, but nevertheless, uh, a very good chance of coming to power in the kingmaker state of Uttar Pradesh. Joining us now to discuss how these might impact markets, economy, economic policy making, and hence, therefore, the fortunes of the market are Sanjeev Basin, Executive VP Markets and Corporate Affairs at IIFL, Vikas Khevani, President and CEO, Edelweiss Securities, Sunil Kanodia, former President, uh, ASOCAM, and uh, Vice Chairman of Shrey Infrastructure Finance, Arvind Virmani, former Chief Economic Advisor, and uh, Vibhav Kapoor of ILNFS. Gentlemen, uh, well, uh, before I come to you, let's take a quick look at the big poll numbers from all the five states. Uh, just to refresh, in Uttar Pradesh, the Network 18 Gremina poll of polls is projecting a hung assembly, with the BJP emerging as the single largest party. The BJP is expected to uh, win 164 states. This is well short of the halfway mark of uh, 204. The Congress uh, Samajwadi combined as a close second. Mayawati could be headed for a defeat or she could emerge as the kingmaker. In fact, the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Akhilesh Yadav, has actually dropped that very bombshell in an interview with the BBC radio. Akhilesh Yadav has lent an olive branch to his bitter rival, Mayawati. Yadav said he is ready for a tie-up with Mayawati if needed. Here is exactly what Akhilesh Yadav told BBC radio. अगर आप बड़ी फाइट बीजेपी से मान, आ, मान रहे हैं तो क्या यह समझा जाए कि चुनाव नतीजों के बाद बसपा से गठबंधन का रास्ता बंद नहीं है नहीं नहीं गठबंधन के लिए मैं अभी इसलिए नहीं कह सकता हूं कि हम खुद सरकार में बनाने जा रहे हैं और जो बहुजन समाज पार्टी के नेता हैं उनको मैंने एक रिश्ते से हमें से सम्मान दिया है तो यह स्वाभाविक है लोग यह मानेंगे कि अगर कहीं कमी होगी तो हम बहुजन समाज पार्टी के साथ ना चले जाएं या बहुजन समाज पार्टी का सहयोग ना ले लें यह बात अभी कहना मुश्किल है लेकिन मैं कहता हूं Hamari uh, or Congress, Samajwadi or Congress ka Bahumat Anewala, Bahumat Kisasar Kabani. Me Abibi Kena Chataun, Mira Manai, Ki Samajwadi party go Kisan, Mahilaone, Nojwanone, Samarthan Dia, BJP Koi Kamni Batapai, Persitia Kabani, but the boat Kibat Patalega Kuljaga, Samajwadi or Congress, Dono Hiko, Achi Sitan Jidani, Akilehi Sarkar Banangi. Ha, Gar Sarkar Glee, Zrot Padegi. तो देखिए कोई नहीं चाहेगा कि उत्तर प्रदेश में राष्ट्रपति शासन लागू हो बीजेपी रिमोट कंट्रोल से उत्तर प्रदेश को चलाए तो ये तो कोई नहीं चाहेगा सो दैट्स द ऑपरेटिव वर्ड्स कि कोई ये नहीं चाहेगा कि बीजेपी सरकार चलाए एंड देयरफॉर द हिंट दैट प्रोबेबली प्रोबेबली इफ पुश कम्स टू शव ही मे टेक द सपोर्ट ऑफ द बीएसपी इट रिमेंस टू बी सीन ऑफ कोर्स व्हाट द बीएसपी इटसेल्फ डज एंड uh, where it finds its uh, bread buttered, but uh, we are still talking just exit polls. We are not talking actual numbers. Um, in Punjab, the Aam Aadmi Party could be holding the aces. The network in Gramina poll of polls is projecting the Aam Aadmi Party to win 57 seats. Just short of the halfway mark, the Congress, not far behind, Captain Amarindra Singh, could also be within kissing distance of a simple majority. BJP Akali Dal combined, heading towards a crushing defeat. I don't think there are two opinions on that. 
Well, let's now go to our guests, Sanjeev Vaseen, uh, Vikas Khimani should be joining us in a minute, uh, Vibhav Kapoor, uh, Arvind Virmani and uh, uh, Sunil Karodi are all with us. Sanjeev, uh, first to you, uh, what, what will markets make of this uh, kind of verdict in favour of BJP but may not be the actual government in Uttar Pradesh? Yeah, hi. Well, Lata, we think a new high is inevitable and even if you get some volatility, I think it will, uh, the, the, you know, the latest change and uh, getting, becoming the single largest party will reinforce that. I think 2019 onwards, the prospects are very bright. We've had a very strong rupee. Oil prices are headed sharply lower. So I think India will regain its point of being one of the outperforming markets uh, uh, in, the, in the second half. And we think now the, the positive of remonetization, uh, oil prices, macros improving, all should be a, you know, a very, very big tailwind. So I, I think notwithstanding the volatility, we think a new high is there definitely. It will take more tantamount to what the Fed does on the 14-15 and we will take it from there. But after a new high, we will see some consolidation, stroke some correction. But what we, what we opine is that, and we have been opining that India is definitely headed higher uh, in uh, the second half of 2017. Okay, yeah, that's the slightly longer term picture, of course, but uh, Vikas Kebani is also joined us. Uh, Vikas, uh, see, it is still, of course, only uh, an exit poll. It's possible that it is uh, as low as 164 for BJP. It is possible it is as high as 190 for BJP. But in any case, it is short of, of uh, a simple majority. And just now, we played to you the soundbite uh, uh, with Yadav saying that he would do anything to keep... Uh, the president's rule and uh, the central rule out of UP, which means an olive branch to Mayawati. How should markets react tomorrow? I think if you see the various uh, expectations, uh, you know, from quite some time that anywhere between 160 to 200 seats kind of estimates has been from BJP. Uh, so I think we'll have to wait and watch what real number comes out to be. In my opinion, this this exit poll per se would not have any impact on the market because it is pretty much on the expected line. Mm -hmm. You know, 160 to 200 kind of seats. So off late, I think expectation has started getting built that it is getting more closer to 200. But I think, again, there are more expectations. I don't think anybody is uh, so really playing. So tomorrow's uh, market will still be a suspended animation like today, <laughs> 8,900, Yeah, so I think, you know, that's only, it's not going to be because of UP polls. And I personally believe that even whatever is the outcome of UP polls, it won't have much impact on the markets unless, you know, it gives a really very dismal picture of BJP. Let's say if BJP were to get 100 seats, probably it might create some sentimental impact. No, no, what if they got 204 in uh, Uttar Pradesh? It will again have a positive impact. But as I said, partly it is expected. So okay. maybe this exit polls have kind of in some sense temp tempered down those expectations. Okay. So let's say, we, but you know, again, you know, I don't think UP winning and losing beyond a point, maybe beyond a week would have a significant impact on markets. Uh, it is going to be sentimental, uh, you know, in, in a shorter term. Again, markets will go back to once the event is okay. over. So it's not a big deal. Okay, well, uh, uh, let me get uh, uh, the gentlemen who actually look at uh, uh, the economy. Uh, from a longer term perspective necessarily. Uh, uh, Dr. Virmani, what is your sense? If, uh, if there can be two, uh, the best case scenario for the BJP could be that it forms a government in uh, 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 Uttar Pradesh, it definitely forms in Uttarakhand and probably in one of the other states uh, 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 in Manipur. Uh, in other cases, there is a slender possibility that the combination of ARP and Congress in Goa and the combination of, uh, you know, Samajwadi and BSP in Uttar Pradesh can keep them out. But there is a chance of a very good BJP victory. Uh, what would that mean for the economy? So let me start with the uh, summary which you put out right in the beginning, mm. uh, giving uh, all the states a uh, picture mm. which has 164 uh, for the BJP in yeah. UP. Yeah. Now, that overall picture, I think, is positive uh, you know, the way I look at it uh, is from the reform perspective, right? Mm. So the question is, is that positive? I think it is overall positive for reforms, but it's not a big accelerator. However, uh, even if everything else remains the same, but BJP uh, manages to get over the halfway mark, mm. I think reforms will be accelerated. So I uh, disagree slightly uh, mm. with your uh, uh, the gentleman who just spoke. Yes. Uh, before, mm. I think it will uh, matter mm. uh, whether uh, the BJP gets a clear majority, mm. in which case, in my view, they will be able to, the government will be able to do uh, more 
because of internal strengthening. I am not looking at it. I think for the external, that is for other parties, vis-a-vis -vis other parties, uh, being the largest party is good enough and they will resume the uh, reforms at the pace more or less of the average of the last two, two and a half years. So anyway, that is a positive. And as your uh, uh, market experts are saying, that, that that perhaps will not, that was kind of expected, but won't have uh, a big effect on the so market. So your, your, totally your point is that a, a resounding but victory for... But if you get for... to a majority, I think you, they could accelerate. Okay, they could accelerate reforms. Uh, your sense, uh, uh, Mr. Kanodia, uh, do you think that uh, the reform momentum gets speeded up with the 204? At the moment, it looks a distance away in Uttar Pradesh uh, for the BJP. So let's discuss the counter. If it was only about 164 or 170 seats, then do you think reform momentum put, gets a break? I don't think so. I think uh, uh, the central reform process and the state both wor would work parallelly and independently relatively. Uh, for the states, you need a good governance uh, for uh, the growth and development of that particular state. Policy framework happens at the state level uh, for the state development. The reform overall agenda which this uh, government has, uh, this mandate for this five years, in the last two and a half, three years now, closing to three years, they have done a lot of structural changes in the uh, process. Think uh, overall uh, macros have improved. The reform process has been on. And I don't think that will get uh, accelerated or decelerated because of what happens in the uh, state levels. I think if you have the BJP win in UP, you may find a better support mm. for that state uh, from the center uh, than it may be today. The working environment may become easier and more comfortable, convenient. Uh, but otherwise, I think the reform agenda which this mm. government has initiated, mm. uh, that will carry on the way it is going on. No, uh, let us imagine the worst case. Uh, if it does happen that the uh, uh, BS, SP, BSP combine does come to power in Uttar Pradesh, uh, BJP, as the exit polls indicate, loses Punjab and uh, probably is kept out of power in uh, Goa, for instance, if the AAP and the Congress were to join because the exit polls don't give them that 21 mark, which gives them a simple majority. If it were to happen that in these three states, the BJP is not forming government, will that, uh, uh, you know, uh, lose, in some ways impact, say, GST, for instance, or any other reform uh, 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 policies? I don't think so that. I don't think that will happen. I think uh, the central reform process, whatever the center can do uh, for the country, I think that would continue. Uh, they are on that agenda of the reform. A lot of things have happened. A lot more needs to be done. And I think that progress and that process will be parallel to whatever happens at the state level. Okay, uh, Sanjay, uh, Sanjeev, let me come back to you on uh, uh, this, the issue of markets first and then I'll go back uh, to my economists. Uh, uh, if with this result itself tomorrow, may you see a sell-off because you have a long, uh, a three-day weekend as well. The market has already been sitting heavy. A lot of gains have been notched up. So will this be seen by the market tomorrow as uh, probably something which is uh, stopping the BJP juggernaut? What's the reaction tomorrow, you think? Well, uh, no, uh, Lata, if what, whatever had to happen has happened in the past three, four days. We've seen that, uh, you know, local operators and mutual funds have booked profit. But it's the left out feeling. The foreign flows have turned positive with, yeah. a, with a vengeance. And you've seen that every day they are the ones who have the left out feeling. So I don't think they are going to let go because of uh, a little bit of a blip on, a, on an exit poll. I think they, they, are, they are strong buyers. They are, there, is, there is hardly any protection buying. Most people are, you know, the, the VIX or the PCR, whatever we see as an indicator is telling us that people will see a new high and then they may be, a, you know, proverbial profit booking. But the, the area of comfort is the foreign flows, you know, which have been consecutive sellers for the last two months, have now turned buyers at close to 9,000. And I don't think they're going to let up just because of a, a little bit of a 20-point up-down on an exit poll. Uh, like I said, we are, we are confident that a new high is in place by next week, and then we'll take it from there. Okay. Also, you know, confident if you just, of a, uh, it to the Sanj point Sanjeev, of... confident of a new high, irrespective of the, uh, the BJP getting the 204 mark in Uttar Pradesh? 
Yes, surely. Can't you hear the language of Akhilesh? He's telling them that now he's ready for an alliance with the BSP. So it's it's morally telling you that a large part of the you know the the play may have already played out. Uh, we are very confident that a new high is definitely there by next week. Okay. Well, do the other market participants also agree? We will find out after the break as well. How can economic policy change if the BJP were indeed to be strengthened in the Uttar Pradesh state?